Well, we have made our hot pot now. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Quite spicy though, but good. Welcome back everyone to Ready Steady Charge and good morning. So we are on our second day of our trip from Calgary to, um, to Prince Rupert. So today we started in Prince George, which is uh, where we finished yesterday. Um, and we're heading to a place called Kukult. Um this place is only 65 kilometers away, so it's not that far. And this place has a free 25 kilowatt charger. Uh, actually, there's multiple chargers there. Uh, we're gonna go there and charge up. So for today, we started off with 52% uh, battery in Prince George, and uh, shouldn't take that much energy to get to uh, Kakult. And we'll plug in there for a bit and charge. Now, the key with today is we have more 50 kilowatt level three chargers. And we also have more, um, you know, 25 kilowatt level three chargers. However, they are spaced somewhat far apart. And this is kind of the, uh, I guess, a disadvantage of Highway 16 compared to Trans-Canada Highway 1, which is the distribution of level three chargers. It's good enough that you can do the trip, but it's not good enough that you can skip multiple charging stations and still feel confident that you can uh, charge at the next one. So what we're gonna do is we'll go to our next stop, uh, we'll plug in, we're gonna charge as much as we can so that we're less reliant on the stations that comes after. So I will join you in Kukult. Welcome back, uh, we are in this uh, charging station. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to call this place. So on Google Maps, it's called Vanderhoof. Uh, I think it's called Kukult, but anyway, uh, we're here. So we arrived with 34% battery. Our consumption is 5.8 kilometers per kilowatt hour. Uh, it's a little bit higher than yesterday, but considering the rainy and cold condition, that's actually not too bad. And we were driving at uh, 100 kilometers per hour. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and uh, plug into this 25 kilowatt charger. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go outside and do that. We've been charging here for about, I would say 45 minutes. Um, while we're waiting, we went for a walk around the community here. And uh, there's a lake we visited there, looks pretty good. Now the sun came out and uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So we've charged to 90% and that means the next stop and the next stop, we don't have to charge as much. So we're going to a place called Savory West. There is also a 25 kilowatt charger there. And while we're there, we're going to charge, I don't know for how long, but we're going to have lunch there. So as, as long as we need for lunch. It's about 120 kilometers, I think. So let's go to Savory West.
We are in Savory West and we arrived to have some lunch. As you've noticed, uh, we are plugged into the level 2 charger when we have two perfectly empty level 3 chargers. And why is that? Well, we tried both of them. Uh, on the display, there's something really strange. Uh, it asks us to tap a card uh, or use an app. But as far as I know, there is no card nor an app. So none of these two chargers are working. Um, I really hope that they can fix this problem so that these can be used. Uh, we arrived here with 67% battery and the next stop where we have two 50 kilowatt chargers is in Burns Lake. That's only 46 kilometers away. So we could have made there, but we're hungry and we want to eat. So that's why we're eating and uh, plugged into the level two. So we're gonna have some hot pot, believe it or not, out here in the freezing rain. Um, hot pot will be really appropriate for this weather. So let's see what we have here. Uh, basically, this is a self-heating hot pot. Um, a lot of this is in Chinese, but it's basically self-heating hot pot. It comes with all these ingredients. It's uh, in a non-perishable type of package. And it uses something quite interesting. So this is basically a heat pack that will heat up your food when you add water to it. Now, as you can see, we haven't opened it yet. Um, we never use one of these, so I think it's gonna get pretty hot. And we already filled up our pots with water, and uh, we're gonna add our packs in. So we just left Savory West. Um, we had a very good, very good lunch. Um, it was a hot lunch. Now, only problem with the hot pots, the instant hot pots, uh, is that uh, too spicy. My mouth is kind of burning, but that's all right. So we're heading to Burns Lake next, which is only about 46 kilometers away, um, a 30 minute drive. Now, Burns Lake has 50 kilowatt chargers, and we're gonna use those, just plug in a little bit. And we are charging there simply because uh, the next stop, which is a, a 25 kilowatt charger, is Boulder Creek. And that place is just over 300 kilometers. So we've left Savory West with 78% battery. That is barely enough to get to uh, Boulder Creek without charging. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge in Burns Lake. Um, I'm gonna say safe lake off to about 90% and then we're gonna head to Boulder Creek. And I feel a bit more confident that way. So we have a little bit of buffer and we're not gonna run out. So we have arrived in Burns Lake. We're gonna plug in now and uh, we're gonna charge until probably 90%. We arrived with 65%. Our consumption is pretty high, it's 5.2. And that's okay because given this weather, this temperature and uh, up and down hills, I think it's uh, it's okay consumption, 5.2 kilometers per kilowatt hour. So let me go and uh, plug in. So we just plugged in and uh, as you can see, we're getting very good speed. This specific charger tops out at 50 kilowatts. We're getting 48. Basically, that's as high as it goes. I think it will stay at this kind of a charging speed until about 74, and that will slowly taper down to 35, then down to 24 kilowatts. And uh, you know, it'll, it'll take only 16 minutes to get to 80 percent, but we're gonna probably take another 20 more minutes to get to 90 percent. So we'll join you before we leave. We just finished charging in Burns Lake. Uh, we charge up to 87%. So our next stop is Boulder Creek. So this is the long 
uh, long haul, so 263 kilometers. So if our consumption is uh, five kilometers per kilowatt hour or better, then we should make it there just fine. Now, in case our consumption is actually worse, like four point something, then we've made a bailout point. So in the town called Smithers, which is between Burns Lake and Boulder Creek, um, they have level two chargers there. So we're gonna plug in there for a little bit in case our consumption is too high. So I think I'm gonna drive at, a, at, at the speed limit. So we're not going too fast, we're not going too slow. And uh, we're gonna keep the consumption under control and we're gonna get to Boulder Creek and charge over there. decided to go past uh, Smithers and skip that level 2 charger uh, because our consumption is pretty good. It's 6.0, which is a lot better than we thought. Uh, we thought it would be 5 point something, but as long as we're better than 5, uh, then we're good. Uh, we skipped it. We're now at 51% battery and uh, we only have 105 kilometers left to go until we get to Boulder Creek and uh, we're gonna be totally fine in terms of range we definitely have enough and uh, my hope is when we get to Boulder Creek those uh, level 3 chargers the 25 kilowatt ones we're, are gonna work properly um, that's my hope so we'll see you in Boulder Creek We are here in Boulder Creek and uh, I would say we got lucky. We got real lucky because this one's working. Okay, this one's working. So uh, we came with about 26% battery, as you can see there. Uh, and uh, it took us about three hours to get here. Uh, 263 kilometers. So that's pretty good. The consumption is at 6.3, which is really good. Uh, we thought it would be a bit worse, but uh, you know, I won't complain for better consumption. Uh, we're gonna stay here, we're gonna charge, and I think we'll charge here for a while until we can get enough uh, juice to get to Prince Rupert, which is our destination. So, the Kona's been performing well. Uh, we have a working charger. I'm pretty happy right now. All right, John. We're eating uh, instant hot pot. That's right. Okay, we're gonna add the water in. Okay. Where's the water line? Oh, it's, it's a very low water line. So. so this specific package, when you add water to it, creates a lot of heat. So much so that the water boils. I'm gonna do the same thing. there just enough to submerge it and then quickly get this on top close the lid okay let's wait Yeah, that one took quite a bit yeah. longer time to start with that. Oh, mine's going. Oh, there we go. So apparently this is based on uh, military MRE technology, so... 
instant hot pot when you have nowhere to cook your food. We are leaving Boulder Creek. So we've uh, finished charging and we decide to have dinner there. Uh, we have some more instant hot pot. <laughs> they were again delicious but spicy. So uh, we're heading towards Prince Rupert. Uh, we're navigating directly to our hotel. Um, it's going to be 229 kilometers of so driving. And uh, it's going to take two and a half hours. We have charged there for about an hour 45 minutes, not because we needed to, but just because that's how long it took for us to you know, get everything ready and explore the surroundings, uh, have, a little, have a little dinner. Uh, and this is kind of part of, I guess, using an EV in the current situation, which is uh, along Highway 16, the charging network is far from perfect. Uh, as you saw earlier, some chargers are not working. Uh, thankfully, this one in Boulder Creek is working because we really need it to work. And if the charging stations are charging slowly, then you gotta wait. But sometimes it's good to wait a little bit, at least you know on these long drives, because you do need to rest. And if you just continuously go, go, go for hours upon hours, you're gonna get tired. And fatigue while driving long distances is quite dangerous. So I think it's, uh, you know, it's good to have a little break once in a while. So like I said, we charged for an hour, 45 minutes. We went from, I forgot what it was, 20 something percent up to 82% battery. Uh, it's way more than we need. So we'll just, uh, you know, enjoy the drive to Prince Rupert and we'll report back when we get there. Okay, everyone, welcome to Prince Rupert, the destination of our journey. Well, just the first half. So we are here. It is almost 11 p.m. at night. Uh, we drove a long, long time. So um, we arrived with 30% battery and our last stretch consumption is 6.4. Um, well, today we drove a total of uh, 723, 724 kilometers. Our overall consumption for today is 6.2 kilometers per kilowatt hour, which is actually pretty good considering all the uh, rainy conditions and the cold weather and the wind. So we are here at Prince Rupert. Uh, we're going to check into the hotel, going to get a good night rest. And I guess we'll come back and join you on our journey back from Prince Rupert and all the way back to Calgary. So thank you for joining me. My name is Solomon and we'll see you on the next one.